by Ingrid Wilgen, staff writer Maria de Jesus Perez de la Rosa opened a daycare center in her home after retiring from the restaurant business. Maria de Jesus Perez de la Rosa opened a daycare center in her home after retiring from the restaurant business. Photo, courtesy photo restaurateur de la Rosa used food to show her love Maria de Jesus Perez de la Rosa showed her love through her cooking. She was the one that took care of everybody. She loved to cook, it was her way of giving. At home, she never prepared a few portions but cooked for an army. Everyone that came to my house knew that they would eat, said her son Miguel de la Rosa. She and her husband opened a taco stand that in 1962 became La Rosa Mexican Restaurant. They really did well, daddy was a go-getter. They both hustled to make it a success, their son said. De La Rosa died April 26 from pneumonia complications. She was 85. She grew up in Brownsville, where her father was the proprietor of the Mexican Inn, her son said. It was here that her entrepreneurial spirit bloomed and she learned the family recipes. At 11 years old, while roller skating in front of her father's restaurant, she saw Manuel De La Rosa delivering papers. She told her family she was going to marry him. Their nearly 47-year marriage started in 1949. Years later, her husband left Brownsville to start a restaurant in San Antonio. De La Rosa stayed in Brownsville to sell the Mexican Inn. She also worked odd jobs and sold Avon to help support their family. After her husband got settled, he moved the family to San Antonio. Her family's recipes also made the move, they ended up being menu staples at La Rosa. I still have one of their menus, $3 for an enchilada plate and chicken mole was $3.95. Everything was from scratch, her son said. City council members and Mayor Henry C. Snaros were frequent customers, he said. De La Rosa and her husband retired from the restaurant in 1981. Maria de Jesus Perez de la Rosa born, April 18, 1933, Brownsville died, April 26, 2018, San Antonio preceded by, parents Guadalupe and Maria Consuelo Munoz Perez, husband Manuel de la Rosa Sr. Survived by, daughters Dolores Patino and son-in-law Anthony, Mary Roselle and son-in-law Billy, Esther Safagan and son-in-law Tim, sons Manuel de la Rosa Jr and daughter-in-law Betty, and Miguel de la Rosa and daughter-in-law Angie, 13 grandchildren, and 25 great-grandchildren services. Visitation, 10.30 a.m. Saturday at Fred J. Tips Mausoleum Chapel, 20,900 Interstate 10 West, followed by the funeral at noon and entrepreneur at heart, de la Rosa went on to open a daycare in her home. During that time, she earned an associate's degree in childcare at San Antonio College, her daughter Dolores Patino said. In total, it was said that she cared for over 200 babies. De La Rosa retired again in 2001, six years after the death of her husband. But she continued her work with children as a volunteer foster grandparent at St. Paul's Ministry and Catholic Charities Ministry. Through the years, she received commendations for her work with children at her daycare and for the volunteer work she did with children. I will get it express-news.net.